everyone another day and another bathroom cupboard you are in so i'm just getting ready to take my puppy out um well her got up super early i thankfully took him out for me because yesterday i had a terrible terrible health pit and i was in so much pain i don't know what really happened but my right knee just was so painful every time I moved it like knives in your knee kind of pain and don't normally get the old arthritis in my right side so it's a bit annoying today I'm training really delicate so I'm just gonna treat myself to a nice slow day I feel like what I want to do on these kind of days is make loads of lists to kind of like make myself feel productive so for the days that i can actually do stuff i know what i can get on and do you know to see like weird health stuff going on i've been extremely tired so i've been needing to sleep like 10 11 hours at night time and having naps and stuff which is normally a sign that something's not going right in my body then on i think it was on sunday on my right side my eye just went kind of blind which is a bit scary like not blind but you know like when a camera is really out of focus or whatever um so i could see kind of light and really blurry shapes so i could distinguish between like dark objects or light objects or shadows and things but i couldn't see anything and i had a nap and then it was fine but obviously that's a bit i think i've experienced that before but not so dramatically so yeah um go my hair my hair what should we do with this um this just looks like a complete fucking mess there's that um i'm trying not to feel bad about it being one o'clock and i'm still in my pajamas. Right. Hola, hola, buenos días. Um, es que quería hacer una cita que he pedido en en mayo. Es que estaba con mucho tratamiento y tal y antes 27 a las 11. Perfecto. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Adiós. <tose> Hola, buenos días. Ah, hola. Ah, es que quería hacer dos citas, una con um, la psiquiatra y otra con el, una psicóloga. Es que falté dos citas con ellos porque estaba bajo de tratamiento y no pude asistir. Vale, vale, vale. vale. Sí, sí. 24 de agosto, 11, 10. Sí, perfecto. Muy bien. Y era para también hacer una cita con Adiola. Tenía el 17 del mes pasado y era primera visita con ella. Vale, un poquitín más tarde si puede ser. Los, las 12. Perfecto. Y el otro, la otra fue el 24 del 8 a las 11 y 10, ¿no? <risa> Perdón. Perfecto, muy bien, muchas gracias. Adiós, adiós. I'm just cooking my lunch. I'm having some kind of roasted fried kale with pesto and some pasta. Fun time. Tacos. Just gonna do it with get off, get off, get off. And I'm gonna do it with some mixed birds for one of these. Yeah, um, I wanna eat some veg and I've got this weird like bean burger concoction that I've made and I'm going to make some little flatbreads and it's going to be lovely. So I've not been really filming that much. I've been really ill actually this week. If you suffer from 
lupus or rheumatoid arthritis or Bechet's or any other fun autoimmune disease that gives you arthritis, you'll know what I'm talking about, but it's like an all-consuming stabbing pain. I had like a fever, ulcers, just felt like crap. So I don't feel like whipping the camera out. Although I kind of do want to in these moments because I, I want to do this whole honest vlogging business, really. These videos have really helped actually lately because it's, ah, oh, my eyes. I'm tipping onions on my eyes, my eyes, my eyes. I was saying, yeah, these videos kind of really help me out at the moment because they, I've not really, I've taken some time off from doing illustration work because I just haven't had the capacity, like mentally and physically, to be able to do it. So it's just been nice to do some silly little videos and just sharing those and putting them up and chatting about feelings and thoughts and emotions and stuff like that. Today I'm feeling a bit a tad more alive and still feeling like it just basically makes you feel like you've been hit by a horrible flu bug and everything, all your joints are like really hurting and angry and inflamed and swollen and hot and red and yeah, it doesn't, it's not the nicest feeling in the world, but it is what it is, isn't it? And I guess I am coming to terms with like, weeks are gonna be like that, and we had a really lovely weekend, but then it's just like, I'm paying for that later, and feeling like, literally, feeling hungover from having a good time. But I guess you have to force yourself to do, to do these things, otherwise it's not really worth it, is it? These weekly collages, literally just bits of, videos and snippets of my life that are kind of like put like taped together really that's how i view them i hope it's not too all over the place and sporadic and scatty but i guess that's who i am and how i am so who the body heck cares that's how they're going to be because that's my way of being able to kind of film and do bits and I can't do this whole daily vlogging where I vlog every day and every week and stuff like that. Even if I just put it into a week, it's just too much for me to think about and edit at the moment. Um, I'm just trying to give myself a bit of a break until September and then in September I'm just going to really step it up a gear and hopefully be able to get my stuff sorted and to be able to yeah, move on and kind of like get a few projects going again get going. I do want to finish up some projects and kind of go delving back into some old work and kind of try and scan that and share that and put that up on my portfolio in bits and pieces. I need to update my bloody portfolio and my blog with bits so that is a plan um, to get back for September to get my blog redesigned to kind of get all my work up and properly done in my portfolio. And then I feel like I can move on with new projects and ideas that I've got and put those into fruitation and production and whatever. So planning new projects and continuing on with like the Nasty Women project. Working out kind of like where I want to take stuff and what kind of, yeah, like what I want to continue with, what I do want to continue with, what I feel like will be viable. Just kind of thinking about that really. Doing it step by step, little by little. And a lot of insane pressure on myself because as we all know I love to do that and then I burn out and can't do anything else and I don't know how to say no so I'm just trying to be a bit more I suppose like responsible in that way um, with myself and limitations and whatnot and um, there's no problem I hope you can hear me by the way yeah, there's no problem wanting to live a bit slower. This is my weird veggie thing that I said.
weekend morning to be busy doing bits and pieces so um yeah oh I'm tired oh. yeah let me get on with that and I'll take you around today and show you what I'm getting up to well throwing away all the rubbish as I go I've got some time I don't know so I take the right packaging these are new from Dior they are the lip tattoos the colours didn't look up very me, but let me just try it. So let me talk you through the plan of the day. Let me just pause YouTube. So I'm gonna take um, my puppy out for a walk now. Um, to finish my coffee. I'm gonna head into town. I'm gonna go fabric shopping, so I'll take you with me. Then I'm gonna meet Borja. Going to go suit shopping potentially for him for a few weddings that we've got coming up and he doesn't really have a suit so we need to sort that out on to Gracia we're hopefully gonna go and have falafel in the best falafel place ever and then to the post office and then home so it's gonna be a fairly busy day and then I'm going to work and be sewing all of this evening I just thought I'd fill you in <laughs> my daily plan so I need to sit down also and do my plan for the week my weekly bullet journal so I thought I would include that God, look at my hair into into the vlog so yes there's that um tomorrow i need to film some videos as well um to go up i've got a few ideas of little bits and pieces i want to do i don't know why but i've started to get like acne on my neck again i think it's my treatment um glands and stuff but it's not very nice horrible i will take you around with me today i'm really shit at vlogging in public still feel like i can't really like narrate what i'm doing whilst out about so that's why i thought i'd fill you in now and then just show you later bits and pieces i'll see you later bye <laughs> quickly and then get ready to go out and pack over the shop. Much needed purse so I need to get sent out and head out off to the centre. So I'm just making it with pear, apple and I put some ginger in it because my throat's really hurting so hopefully it should be alright. I don't know if my ginger's alright. up ready to go I also wanted to show you where I don't know if I can bloody put it um, that we've printed some new postcards so our office is in a bit of a mess because we're in the process of hanging up this pegboard so oh my god there's a mixture of tools mess and everything here so yeah this is going to be packaged off today and yeah I'm pleased with the way our packaging is turning out actually with this 
all nicely bits and pieces so yeah there you go so look how nice it looks so we've got a nice little postcard here that we designed um our little card that just says postcards from Barcelona stamped on it and the print which I should probably put in the right way yeah super super pleased with that there you go in a very dirty mirror let me just show you what I'm wearing I'm in the bathroom so a little denim pin for this Muji blouse that is kind of checked and I love the sleeve length and my saltwater sandals and my backpack. I'm out with the pup and I'm just having a coffee and I'm going to read some of my book and just enjoy being outside before I start the day properly. I've got a few worky bits to get on with today. I've got my dress to kind of have a go at as well, which I made good progress yesterday after having the second um, load of fabric. Had a really bad night's sleep last night, so I'm feeling really achy and horrible, hence the horrific eye bags I've got. Oh my god, I only just saw those. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a slow, worky day. Thank god I don't need to go out to the city or anything like that, like the past few days. We've been really busy with being out and about um, and going on long walks and such. Um, so I'm feeling really exhausted actually. So a few worky days and um, Friday I want to have a complete lovely rest day. So yesterday we, um, I needed to go back and get some fabric. So we went to the fabric shop and it woke up from work. We walked down to the fabric shop and then 
We walked up to Gracia, I had a hot dog, I had a tofu vegan hot dog, which was really yummy. And then from Gracia, um, we went to a Portuguese place, which was really good. And then we walked up to an art shop, which is in Via Usta, which is really good as well. But my battery had run out of juice, so I couldn't film for you. And then we walked to Saria, we went to the post office, and then we went home. So there's that, really. I'm slow in the morning, long in the evening, and it's been bloody hot. So yeah, I'm gonna go home, do some yoga, have some breakfast. Breakfast, I say, and it's like 25 to 12, but yeah, I can't service until a certain time, so. Um, yeah, so yoga and breakfast, and then just getting on with work, really, and replying to some emails and bits and pieces. So yeah, um, that will be my day, but thank God I don't need to go out. I really need to stay at home at the moment, which is good. So yeah, I'll speak to you later.